Welcome back. Well, the AFL, which has publicly backed the Yes campaign, will now no longer feature any campaign material for The Voice in the AFL finals. This was part of the plan. It was meant to be an influential ally of the campaign, but the AFL now seems to be distancing itself from taking a position. Meanwhile, the NRL has sold $400,000 worth of advertising space to the Yes camp during the final series. Joining me now is Shadow Indigenous Affairs Minister Jacinta Namapinja Price. Jacinta, welcome to the program. Did the no camp lobby the, did the no camp lobby the AFL to stay neutral on the voice referendum? Oh, look, I know that I've expressed very public views about uh, the AFL and, well, all sporting codes and the fact that they shouldn't be taking a political p position on this issue. Uh, but I also think the AFL are probably now reading the room. Uh, they've come under uh, pressure by their own fans. I know that... Um, I have certainly been contacted by different fans of different clubs, members from different clubs who have said that this is the first time they've ever withdrawn their membership from their club uh, because their club's taken a position uh, on the issue of the voice. And I think uh, given the polls are now uh, heading in a direction that they probably didn't think they would head, uh, that they've taken this position, uh, hopefully in respect of uh, the fact that Australians should be able to make a determination on a constitutional amendment of their own accord without feeling pressured, certainly by um, mm. the AFL or other sporting codes. Mm. Now, I want to ask you about this story that's just broken on the Sky News website by our Northern Territory com uh, correspondent Matt Cunningham, allied health students at Charles Darwin University are being cautioned to think carefully about their career choice if they don't support The Voice. This story just breaking on the Sky News website. Associate Professor Bay Stanley told students in a message, and I quote, if you feel you're unable to vote yes for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's rights, you might want to reflect deeply on whether a career in allied health is really for you. What's your response to this? <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's effectively um, bullying. Uh, I mean, I've been contacted, my office has been contacted by students of Charles Darwin University uh, prior to, obviously, this email, who have been concerned that they no longer feel welcome at their own school. They no longer feel like they have the freedom um, to discuss certainly this issue, uh, and that they are being ostracised because the school, the, the university took the position to support the voice. I mean, this is a, a leadership failure. And I, I would call on um, the, the Chancellor, Scott Bowman, to correct this, um, to ensure that this sort of pressure isn't applied um, to students by their lecturers. I mean, universities are supposed to be spaces uh, where debate is encouraged, uh, where universities don't take a position, a political position on an issue, mm. uh, but... Uh, evidently the university has not allowed for this sort of environment to occur at it and I don't think that is right.